Good morning, Gregorio here. So just doing a little first ride uh, on uh, the Suzuki GSX S1000 for Chopsy. Um, so this is sort of a precursor to him and I doing a three-way test against this, uh, the Honda CB1000 and the Yamaha MT10. So um, I have ridden one of these before, but it was a first gen quite a long time ago when they first came out. Uh, I've not ridden one since, so I know they've improved them quite a bit certainly sort of the fueling and that because they did have some issues with Euro 4 I think at the time where the throttle was a little bit snatchy and a bit hard to maintain a constant speed particularly at lower stuff but I know that well I'm pretty sure they've sorted that now so anyway first impressions I've ridden it probably about half a mile just to get to here so uh, yeah that's of interest sit back and uh, over to you Chopsy to the, do you know what job So here we are uh, with the Suzuki GSX S1000. Just a first ride impression really, first ride review. As I said a moment ago on the intro, I have ridden one before, but it was the first gen. Um, so quite a few years ago now. The styling's obviously changed. The front's a bit different, bit odd maybe. Stacked headlights, not that much electronics. It's got a quick shifter and blipper, but fairly basic, which in you know my opinion is probably a good thing actually. Nice and simple. I've literally ridden it for not even a minute to get to this spot here so this is very much a first ride so without further ado i'll get on it and see what it's like and give you my initial impressions dash i quite like a lot of information on there very similar to the suzuki gsxr 1000 a little bit updated but very very similar sort of all the information on one screen but pretty straightforward it has got the easy start which for those of you who don't know what that means you don't have to hold the start button down it's actually really like it you just tap it and then it sorts itself out and starts nice and smoothly rumbling away really really smooth um, so let's see what it's like the one thing i have noticed already actually is the brakes are uh, a little bit they lack a bit of feedback that's for sure and they're not that strong it's a bit of a tug uh, on the lever legs are quite tucked up not too bad uh, i quite like it actually feels about right but they're certainly not stretched knees are quite bent but it feels a little bit sporty on the legs um, nice reach to the bars it's sort of pretty much upright with a slight canter but it's certainly not an extreme riding position i'd say it's comfortable one of the criticisms of the original and certainly one of my criticisms i think plenty of other people mentioned it was that the fueling was uh, i think it was at the start of euro 4 at the time it was and it was really bad every time you close the throttle and open it again it's like gunk and it was hard to maintain a constant speed this is definitely cured i'm pretty damp this morning so obviously you need to take it a little bit careful and there's south of england at the moment pothole central is just so bad so uh, it's not often I long for a 21 inch front wheel, but I think at the moment it'd be pretty handy. I'm in power mode A at the moment, which is the most aggressive, um, but it's, it's nice. It doesn't feel too aggressive. I personally wouldn't ever touch that. Just leave it as it is. You can change as well the traction control on the fly. So I'm currently in TC3. So a little bit of support, but not too intrusive but you know, I'm only gonna be taking it steady. The quick shifter and blipper is smoother when you're sort of not hard on the power. So when you're just sort of riding it normally there, it's really, really smooth. It's a little bit harsher when you're actually on the gas a bit more, which in, uh, in my experience is uh, unusual, but I think actually on this bike is probably a good thing because I don't think you're going to ride it at the top end hard all the time it's more of a sort of relaxed fast easy ride and I think that where you're going to be riding it is in this kind of sweet spot and it's really smooth god these roads are so disgusting I mean, 
and you just see their gear changes there you can hardly feel them it's so smooth really well sorted typical suzuki gearbox really so yeah so far it's really nice just got on the brakes here just to test them there's nothing behind yeah and they're really there's not a lot of that i don't like the brakes actually at all i'd have to do something with those probably as a minimum change maybe the pads and see what that does for it but they're there's just not a lot there it feels like oh are you actually going to stop and you know i'm putting the lever there quite hard and it's not actually doing that much i don't know whether that's just this bike or whether that's a trait that they've all got but um i don't like that very much dash is really good i mean it's sort of old school no tfts here it's sort of like lcd which is surprising on a bike at this you know young but it's got everything you need rev counter gear position indicator speedo's really prominent fuel gauge outside temperature gauge it's got range tool out of fuel 134 miles to go at the moment i mean seriously i don't know what else you'd need and i i prefer personally i, I don't really care too much about dashes because i'm all right about how the bike rides and how it feels but i prefer having it all there rather than having to scroll through when you're riding i find that a little bit irritating just get just get it all on there and when you own a bike you kind of know exactly where you're looking after a short while of owning it you get used to it so i personally quite like that competitors to this so the, it's the honda cb1000 which i've never ridden but going to ride shortly with chopsy we're going to do a comparison of this against the cb1000 from honda and also the yamaha mt10 which he's already got and they the mt10 is the standard bike not the sp so i think that makes it a fairer comparison and i'm sure it will be very very good um obviously the japanese thousands i don't think in my opinion other than the MT-10 perhaps you could really class these as a uh, super naked I think these are nice powerful naked but I wouldn't say they're super naked they're just good naked and actually offer really really good value for money and probably this Suzuki I would think is probably a bit overlooked right here we go okay, you can see how smooth it is and the pickup is so so quick and if you do want to hold a steady speed now it's you know it's absolutely fine from sort of closed to open throttle it feels really nice i think the only thing i have noticed already is right at the bottom you can still tell it's a little bit lean and it's a little bit hesitant until it's sort of the revs build slightly and then it sort of goes so going back to the usual kind of admission uh sorry admission emissions issues <laughs> Uh, but you know they, they've certainly done a good job and it's not it's not annoying you seem to kind of ride around it all in all very brief first impressions ride i would say if i were to give it a score out of 10 for what it is i think i would give it a good seven and a half out of ten it's easy comfortable it feels bulletproof it feels well made the controls are nice my only real criticism are the looks and desirability i guess uh the suspension i think for most is probably a little bit too hard and the brakes are not for me they are just not strong enough and they would need some modification if you bought one in my humble opinion but there you go i hope you enjoyed that brief ride we're going to do a review chops in eye of this against the honda cb 1000 and the mt10 very very shortly so uh we'll do a bit more in depth on uh, on all three bikes then so uh Enjoy, take care, thanks for joining. See you soon. Come through, let's have a look at that beauty. What that? <laughs> <laughs> no, not that. We do like a bit of a drag race, we need to know which one's quickest. Prepare to lose. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Straight falls when the ribs get out, that's when the fun starts on them, really, isn't it? I think it's a pretty handsome bike, to be honest. Good, sort of a bit it? retro, isn't it? Yeah, that's what that is. It's a Neo Caf on the call, whatever Neo Caf means. <laughs> 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 actually i quite like all oh, the handling's a bit 
odd. But the handling at the moment is a big no-no. I think I'd go straight for a hedge. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll test that in a minute. Two, one. Go. You, you said three, two, then you caned it and then said one off. <laughs> you know, for the drop. <laughs> How are them brakes? Um, I haven't got any. I've just used the gearbox. <laughs> so, the MT10, let's bring that into the mix. Yeah, it's comfortable, um, provided you don't, you like your seats made of granite. Oh, yeah, you could be right, who'd have got on this, couldn't you? Does sound good, doesn't it? Three, yep. two, one. Go! <laughs> this is just like wheeling! Just climbing along! It's so, it's so much fun! <laughs> have a go on this! Let's see that! Back. I want to go! Yeah, we'll turn around, you have a go, it's so cool! Is it cool?